Major changes could be on the way for some students and teachers in Shelby County schools. Next week, the board is set to vote on the phase one of school closures and then relocations. WRG's Bria Jones gives us a look at the plan. Shelby County Schools proposed reimagining 901 plan includes not only rebranding but restructuring the district. The biggest potential changes, the closing of Shady Grove Elementary in East Memphis and Alton Elementary in South Memphis this school year. Board member Mishka Clay Bibb shared her take on the plan. For Shady Grove, I will say the intended outcome is to make sure that the kids who are there, because most of the kids who attend that school don't live in that community. For Alton and the A.B. Hill uh, conversation, that is completely about resources and Alton being a school that does not have um, the same around enrollment that it used to. Students at Shady Grove would go to Dexter or White Station elementaries. And with Alton Elementary slated to become the new early childhood headquarters, students would go to A.B. Hill Elementary. Other major shakeups include relocating Maxine Smith Steam Academy to East High and rezoning a few dozen Ridgeway High School students to White Station High, which Clay Bibbs says could be a benefit. I understand the waiting list, not only for Maxine Smith, but for Middle College as well, is in the hundreds. Pre-pandemic, those numbers were over 500 plus for both schools. So to give us an opportunity to be able to create more, create more seats for both schools, for me, I definitely support. She says with any changes, the district will also be prepared to help families transition. One of the things that I think that I could say about this administration is that once changes happen, they also offer the additional supports to families to make sure that they're, you know, can manage through the change. In Shelby County, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. All right, changes on the way. And we've reached out to learn how much the two school closures could save the district. The board is set to vote on the first steps of the reimagining 901 plan next Tuesday.